Okay, so good morning and good evening, everybody, and welcome back in today's class. Today we are going to be discuss the advanced talk. I'll say. So yesterday I activated all the plugins which is required for us, and few are pending, which I'm going to be do today because I was little have a have a time, so I activated it manually instead of waiting it for the. Why is she doing fail format? OK, so today topic is little interesting, even though every topic in service is interesting always. OK. What it says, the topic says. Is domain separation. Before we go in the technical part or before we understand this thing, let discuss. In a different perspective. The point or the concept says. Why I should pay more amount. But I want to use service now. As a customer, you always think that. I have no much budget. No much money. So that. I should. Spend or so that I can spend in the service now. But I want to use service now. Simple example, let me take. I know that I need to be travel from my home to airport. OK. But traveling to airport is too much expensive. The cab driver charge. Thousand rupees. For drop only. But if you think. In a cab. Total four passengers can. Sit four to five passengers can sit. If and also. If everybody need to go or want to go to airport, then this contribution become 200 or let's say 300 per person. The thing is that number one, I am able to save the cost. Okay. But drawback is that. I have to follow a desired route. Sorry, desired route. To pick up everybody on the way. It is a time loss for me. But the fact is that if you don't have money, much money, then you can spend more time to get the things done. If I take the another example. If you hear the concept. Of paying guest. It is it is very, very famous concept in India. OK, what this mean that I can stay. In a house. Where I will get everything. One bed, one wardrobe, one study table, and food as well. It's a big four, four BHK or five BHK house, and five people are living in that house. And everybody's giving the rent less than the complete house rent. Let's say if the complete house rent is 20,000 or 30,000, I'm just paying 5,000. For the one room. The same concept applicable in service now as well, and that is and that is called domain separation or MSP managed service provider. The person who provide that is a managed service provider. Little bit more practical part. So in service now world, how it's work 
or how it's how it's been defined. It says I have a single instance dev eight six two seven one. And I onboarded. Rajesh, Namrata, Pooja, Trevor, Vail, and Ola. Not as a user. As a customer. This six customer using the same. Instance. And I'm charging. License to the six customers. So let's say if. Idle charges cost. Rupees. For the complete instance, so I can charge maybe 25. 25. 25. 10, 10. Up to me because I'm I'm the service provider. I can charge much and less. Radish is happy. Wow. Instead of paying 200, I, I will pay 25 and I can use this instance now. But the drawbacks are. If Rajesh want any changes. On a complete tool level. Then that is not that much easily possible. Because maybe that change is not required by Namrata. Maybe required. Maybe that change is not required by Pooja. So this is the concept called the domain separation. And it is called the multi tenant. Do you remember that the day when we discuss about the service now architecture, we say it's a multi instance and now it's a multi tenant. In a single house. Four or five people are living. Just to just to summarize this concept, let's then we'll come to the service now. Let's say Rajesh, Trevor, Will, and Ola. They join a company. And none, none of them has a that much money that they can stay alone in one bedroom house. Then they say. Let's share it. Now I'm, I'm sure Trevor, it's easy for you to understand. It's a shared accommodation. So they found some advertisement on the internet. There's a one person who is saying that in a house, four rooms are there. Each room is available for the rent. Rajesh, go and see. Oh, it's look good. He give the token money or the holding deposit. And book the flight. Then Trevor came. He also think the wow, it's a good one. Give the token money, other uh, holding deposit. Other uh, two also done. Now Rajesh has one room, Trevor has one room, Ola has one room, and Will has one room. Okay. Everybody has has a one room, but. Rajesh cannot any data or anything in the room of the Trevor because they're not friends. Trevor cannot see anything in the Will's room. Will cannot see anything in the Ola room. And Ola cannot see anything in the Rajesh room because they are not friends. They are strangers to each other. Even though they are staying in a one house, but they have a different rooms. Every room has its own lock and key. So that data should be secure. Rajesh says no, no. See why? Why we stay in shared accommodation? Because we don't have a money. To to spend for a single month. Rent. But we have to compromise. That it will be a shared accommodation. You will get the key 
of your room and nobody can enter in your room until unless until unless you provide the access to him after one week 10 days generally in in boys this is happen very quickly okay after 10 days or one week rajesh and travel become a good friends and rajesh says hey travel if you need anything you can come in my room anytime what is it's be happening he is giving the access to travel to his own room now vice versa is not vice versa is not happen till now don't think that the travel should do the same thing no travel is say no no yaar i i don't want anybody to be come my room but rajesh is open okay no problem if you need anything you come into my room any point of time okay after few days will said to the landlord hey can you give a iron gate outside my room as well it's a, it's a wooden gate which has been locked but he is not happy he think it's a, it's not secure so he requested to landlord can you put the iron gate what my do now landlord is so smart he says boss the moment it is not possible because if i do it i'll do it for, if i will do it for you i have to do for everybody he approached to rajesh landlord approached to rajesh do you need the security gate rajesh says come on i don't have anything valuable no worries i don't want i'm okay with this one Trevor also said the same thing, and this idea has been dropped by the landlord. Now it is on the thirtieth of the month, thirty-first, and now it's first. Landlord came for the rent. He knocked the door of Rajesh. It's thirty-first. Rajesh is out with his friends for celebration. He is not at all in his room. Day one, no rent received from Rajesh. Go to travel house, travel rooms. Rent received. Will I'll pay it by after two days? Ola, I'll pay in the one week. Okay. Landlord again came. Rajesh was so sleepy after two. Two or three days trip, he did not open the door. Again, no rent paid to the landlord. Same goes to Trevor and sorry, Will and Ola as well. Now, if you think from the landlord perspective, if you think from the service provider perspective, it is a overhead. now the landlord is thinking instead of giving to the students or the bachelors or to the in the shared accommodation if i give this flat on the rent to a family i need to only approach one person to get my rent here i have to follow with the four person to get my rent so it is a overhead for the service now maintenance team there are very few cases where service now recommend to go for the domain separation because it's look easy in the discussion but it look tough to manage the first problem come in this kind of a environment by any way rajesh is able to see the traverse room or traver is able to see rajesh room they are not friends but he is able to see now it becomes a security concern how he can see the data in my room how he can see what i am doing in my room by by any means maybe 
by some window, by opening the door, by bypassing the lock or something, but the guys are able to see each other room without their permission. It's a very big security concern. And I worked in a project where we migrated more than 70 to 80 customers on the domain separated environment. I know how big it is. And also it depend how data you have as a customer. OK, so now if I clear everybody till this point, the basic understanding is clear, right? Rajesh, Namata, Trevor, Pooja. Good. Now I'll come here and let search for the domain separation. And it's not developer, yes, domain. Domain separation. Developer.servicenow.com. It's a very good website if you want to be learn the topics. It's actually good, actually good. So once this will open, I'll show you that how this domain separation actually work. It's a domain separation recap. Let me see. Now, as a landlord, when you think to convert your 4 BHK house in the shared accommodation, definitely you have to be think, right? Let's say I'm a landlord. I put an advertisement. My 4 BHK house is available for the rent with the rent of 50,000 or 20,000 per month. Two or three families came to view to see the flat. But they say, sorry, you're charging a lot of rent. We cannot pay. Flat is empty for a month now. I'm losing the rent now. Then as a as a landlord, I think instead of waiting for a family, let me Give it to the shared accommodation. And let me charge 6,000 from for the each room. Even though as a landlord, I'm getting benefited now in the rent. Because earlier I'm just getting 20,000. Now I'm getting 24,000. That is the benefit, but the loss is also there. These security data, security problem, getting a rent for everybody on the on time. So now what is this domain separation says? Creative branch. Size, let me see. Developing, no, 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 it's not about developing. Ah, here, what is domain separation? I generally use this link for my trainings as well. See, this is what the domain separation. Multiple tenants in a single instance, and this become the multi-tenant. Multi-tenant service now instance because different different people are staying in a different different rooms. Still, Rajesh is still thinking, Atul, how it will look like actually? Because when you say it's a house, then every house must have a washrooms, must have a balcony, must have a living room. How you define that part? Let's say I'm, I'm staying in a house. I'm staying in a shared accommodation. I'm having a one room. But I want to use 
the balcony as well. I want to be use the kitchen as well. I want to use the living room as well. How then in this case, how it's work? It works in the form of the domain now. So let me come down and we put some basic questions. So these are the benefits. As a provider, volume licensing has been increased. If I give a flat to a family, they will consume only one license. But if I give a flat as a shared accommodation, multiple people, multiple license. So I can show to service now, see I'm selling these many licenses. It's a centralized admin for customer as a tenant. Data segregation, global reporting, upgrade and scalability. These words look very easy to read. Benefits are easy to read, but tough to achieve or maintain. That is the reason. That is another reason. And I'm saying it from my experience perspective. Service now don't recommend for the domain separation immediately. No. You have to be proved. When, when I say you means as a service provider, you have to be proved with proper business justification. And there are five questions which should be yes. And here are this, sorry, six question which says yes. Only then service now say, OK, go for the domain separation. Now Rajesh is curious. Atul, yesterday you say that it is becoming from the plugin activation. I want to be do so I can activate it. Yes. But this plugin need to be approved or the business case need to be approved by the service. Now. As a best practice says, because let's say I'm a service provider. I'm using service now for last four years, five years. And this is the first time someone says, hey, can you convert this instance to the domain separated? Before I say yes, I want to be checked with the service now that what they recommend. I, I'll give you the practical example. Even though I'm not a certified guy, I did not complete my service now certification. Even not a CSA as well. But still I get a in I get a messages from the people that I have done the CSA now. What should next I pick up? So services provider think that service now is the right person to ask this question first. Because everybody knew it's the overhead. Maintenance become overhead here. So service now say if you prove this question, this five question, convert this five question, sorry, give the answers of this five question in a yes, then go for the domain separation. If any of this answer is no, I'm not saying it's or it's and. If any answer is in the form of a no, then domain separation will not activate it. Not approved by the service now. What this question and how this, what is the meaning of this? Okay. So the first question said logical data separation. <clears throat> this says there's Every customer, like like say, Rajesh, Trevor, Will, are staying in a room. Their common luggage will be placed in a normal place, in a common place. But logically, they can see it is a segregated. Physically, it is not. Physically means everything in the same database. Rajesh data is also there. Trevor data is also there, real data is also there, but logically it is separated one. If you're okay with this concept, then proceed further. I'm I'm sure Pooja or maybe I can say Rajesh and Namrata can understand this thing. Trevor, in, in India, when a marriage is happening, the Paris put seven words or seven sentences to each of them. Seven for bride, seven for groom. I guess not seven, yes, seven or some something is there. 
and if bride say yes he is okay then he proceed for the next one so this is something that seven points or the five points if travel say yes will say yes rajesh says yes that we are happy it should be logical separated let's proceed for the domain separation then scale is the customer small enough not to require multiple nodes or dedicated hardware means ha huh, i am i am a student i need a lunch breakfast and dinner and i am not a that much foodie guy i am okay to survive with the minimum food which you provide i don't want any any dedicated maid will come and cook the things for me no if he, if answer is yes you are small enough go ahead platform requirement can the customer work with the product and service provided on the shared platform means if you as a customer want to utilize the platform okay utilize the platform to build something for yourself but not in a bigger sense then if answer is yes go for the domain separated process differences here we guys came actually now rajesh says let's say when these three guys or four guys take a one one room landlord came for a common meeting he is giving the instructions no smoking allowed in the house door will be locked by 11:30 night you have to be come little early before entering into that house now rajesh has a point hey sorry i'm i'm working in the late evening as well my shift over by 1 o'clock in the midnight can you give me a extra key of the main door as well or can you add exception here so in this case landlord said do the process, customer process require less than 5% changes in the shared processes if answer is yes go ahead landlord say okay till one i can manage it anybody has an issue let's say no okay it is allowed because it's still less than 5% now the practical thing is that how you will be managing this 5% there is no criteria it's totally your your gut feeling your relationship with the customer the work you want to do on the on the process changes it's ticket there and at last admin requirement does the instance owner administer the instance with the customer only managing limited configuration means it doesn't mean that you are staying rajesh says okay i am taking this room but you are bringing three four friends every day or you bring lot of luggage which is tough to accommodate if limited luggage limited configurations you are happy go with the domain separated if this five points have answer yes only then you can go for the domain separation okay in this case it says before you activate the domain separation make sure you check can i achieve these things before business rule via acl some filter some some security some custom form can i achieve these requirements via this way if yes then don't go for the domain separation okay clear everybody till this point any doubt any question yeah but i have i think two three question if you go back to this thing again this one yeah let it appear yeah. so uh, no, no, uh, below actually below yeah so logical data separation so could you try to give an example where uh, in service now language Uh, what does it mean? Uh, okay. 
logical and physical. So, what what is a multi instance where every customer has its own database, right? Right. Multi or in the domain separation, one database and everybody is keeping their data in that particular place. So, like, if if I say that guys. I'm keeping your data in a one database server. But it will be logically means as per your access, you can access it. It doesn't mean that like, like if I say, OK. In a single room, I have a six or seven bags. OK. And these seven bags belong to four different people. When you open the door, you will be able to see only your bags. Rest bags you cannot see or rest bags you cannot access. There is called the logical separated one. There is a thing of the logical separation. Doesn't it say it's a single storage place, but as per your access, you can check the data. If you don't have access for the other domains, other other people, you cannot access the data. This is what the logical data separation says. Means logically it is different. Physically it is together. There is a model. And and the third point, uh, the process differentiation. So uh, when you now we can create multiple tenants. Mm -hmm. uh, so can't we create the different processes for them? No, 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 no. I'll give you because this is the biggest challenge. This is the biggest challenge. I'll give you one example. Let's let's talk about the service now perspective. Okay. I onboarded Rajesh in the my service now instance as a tenant. He says that my process says in the incident new in progress. Resolved closed. And cancel. Trevor says no, 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 no. My process is a little different. New, wait for information, in progress, resolved, and closed. Not two different people, two different processes. Okay. Do you think that it is easy for you or me as a service provider to maintain these two separate processes? It is not easy. If tomorrow I onboard, 50 more people or 50 more customers, everybody is demanding differently Then how I will manage it. In this case, I have a processes on the top domain. Let, let's convert this example in the form of the tenant, tenant um, way. Rajesh, Trevor and Ola staying in a one house, three different rooms. The process says morning breakfast 8.30, lunch 1.30, dinner 7.30. Everybody need to be keep their garbage in the garbage bin by 7 o'clock in the morning. Everybody need to be clean their plates or the bowls and keep it in the dishwasher within the 30 minutes of their lunch or the breakfast or their dinner. Now Rajesh has a question. Boss, my shift end in the morning, four o'clock or five o'clock. I reach home by seven thirty. So I cannot put the garbage in the in the bin on the time, and it will be spill over as well. Because if you are not able to put for the two days, it will spill over. Can you put another process for me? Now, Trevor says the other point. Hey, I need to be leave for the for the college or for the job. It's eight o'clock. Can you change the breakfast timing for me to seven thirty? How will we manage? It's not possible. So before you go for the domain separation, we as a service provider clearly tell to the customers or the tenants that this is the standard process everybody need to be used. Huh, that is fine. Two, three, four, five percent changes I can do. But to do that part, I have to be make sure I have to be checked 
is it not going to be impact by to anybody else? Also, I can see. Is this is a requirement for everyone as well? Let's say. After some time, you all go to the landlord and say, hey, can you increase the night timings? For the lock for the gate lock. Because it's a it's a weekend Friday we go for the parties and our outing somewhere and we came late by two o'clock or three o'clock in the in the mid month in the morning time. Can you increase it? First, this point was to put by Rajesh. And then it, the same point in a some other different way has been put by Trevor. Now landlord thing, everybody need these changes. Let me make on the process level only on the top level. That's fine. So it is easy for him. That is what I'm saying. Domain separation looks easy. Maybe for, for you, you see you are a customer. You simply say I want my separate process. But think from the service provider. How I can do that part. So these things has been clearly mentioned when you purchase service now. Or when you be onboarded on the service now as a domain separated. Because you you are why you are using the domain separated because you don't have much money to be spent. Then you have to be compromised on some things. Clear Rajesh now. Yeah, so technically <coughs> so you're saying technically it is possible to configure different different processes for different different customer, but because of the management of those different processes on the same instance would be difficult. That's why we don't recommend. Yes. Technically anything can be possible. I can tell you. So then how do we identify the best process, right? So example, let's say we have to onboard five customers. Mm -hmm. okay. So what is the right process? Let's say first customer be onboarded, understanding his requirement. Mm -hmm. Now the second customer and third, fourth, fifth, have maybe better suggestion, let's say, right? Uh, so so the if if they have a better solution, then we will see after some time, and then I'll bring it for the everybody together, and say, guys, this customer is using this process. Are you happy to implement in your in your processes as well? See, Rajesh, thing. If you are a landlord, tenant will drive you, or you will drive to the tenants. Definitely, Atul, I will I will drive to the tenants, right? It's my house, my rules, right? This is what I do as a service partner in the beginning. Guys, it is my instance and you're the tenants. You have to follow this process. If you think it worked for you, come. If you think it will not work for you, go for the separate one, single instance. After some time, when I be I implemented a lot of customers. Then I found, wow, it is a good process. Let me ask the other tenants, are they happy with these changes? If OK, then I will implement that part and it and it happens and it happens actually. But don't say or don't think that it is a tenant driven. No, it's a provider driven instance. Now I set up a standard process. Let's say you book a hotel room you're going on a vacation with your family you book a hotel room you cannot check in or check out at your convenience let's say check in timings 1 1 pm and check out is 11 am if you say no 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 i want to check in at 11 am sorry sir you're not allowed because it's not your driven process it's my driven process if you think it is not suiting don't book the room so we have to be thinking from that perspective. Customer demand everything. I I'm saying that when I was working for that customers for that process, there was a few customers who didn't who did not even ask anything extra. They said, bring my data. I'm happy. And there are the customers who try to make a lot of changes. A lot of configuration. But not on the High level. They just want something on the on the on their level only. Some tweak in the reporting, some tweak in the flows. That's manageable. So these things you have to be very clearly tell to your customers when we're selling the domain separated instance. 
that guy, this is the high level process. These are the things you have to be take care. These are the things you have to be compromise. I intentionally put in the word compromise here. Because what happened that today you are going to be sell that thing to the customer, but tomorrow if customers say no, I want to make a change. And you say I did. Sorry, I did not tell you this. You cannot make a change. Then what will happen? You can understand. Clear Rajesh now. Uh, yeah, good, good, good. yeah, yeah. So maybe just to one or two questions that uh, I'm thinking of. So when we say you no know, dif different processes, so what is the definition of that process? For example, let's say inbound outbound notification, uh, because they would probably ask, uh, you know, in a separate See, way, and one other customer would ask. So are we counting that as a different? No, 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 no. See, th these are the config configuration. These are not the processes. Processes says, let's say change management. Change says new, assess, authorize, schedule, implement, review, closed. OK, that is a process. Now you want that for every time I want to be skip the assess change for the now. Sorry, assess step for the normal change. This is the process changes. Or you want no, no, my every change should go to the new to schedule directly. I don't want any kind of approval. This is the process change. When other 99 customer is using new assess authorized and you want, no, 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 I want new schedule implement or I want new authorized assess and then. This is a process changes. This notification, SLA, these are the configurations, small configurations. That's fine. But still we need to be avoid that as well. If I'm making a change in the notification for one customer, it become a customization for me. And every customer says, no, no, I want a separate way of sending the notification. I'm I'm going mad. It is also considered, but not that much priority, which I'm saying on the processes part here. And here processes for incident change, problem, request, knowledge, CMDB. These processes I'm talking here. See, it says configuration you can do less than 5%. Configuration also allowed 5, 7, 10% also done because it's a configuration. Otherwise, why are you going to be use the system if you're not allowed to be changing the configurations there? So this is the process I'm talking, Rajesh here. <laughs> Any other question by anyone else? Okay, now let's proceed further. So once you activate this, okay, then something come like this for us. Let me show you here. See, if you see, I have a domain scope global. I'm in a global domain now. Don't say it's an application. No, it's not an application scope. It's a domain scope now. And how it has been given by service now out of the box. So this is the one at this thing. Do the exercise from this particular um, website. See, it's saying that how to activate that plugin. So you can go and activate the plugin in your part. So when you get the domain. You can go here domains. And go to domains, domain admin and domains. So these many domains service now give me out of the box. Where two are more important. Default. This is the place. Top is the place where your process flows resides. That is here your point come. Every hotel has a process. Check in 1 p.m. Check out 11 a.m. They that they define in the top level. Either you are a VVIP, either a VIP, either normal human being, either normal customer for them. 
process is same. You cannot check in before one o'clock. And you cannot check out after 11 a.m. If you check out after 11 a.m., it will be charged for the day rent. This is what the top domain. And this is what the default. In every house, there is a room. We call as a store room. The thing which are not known, which are not in use, which are almost in the scrap format, we put it in the store room. This is what the default. So what's this? Task and the user without a domain. Pleased. Keeping this the default rule. Now how it's look like. Come here and check this thing. See, these are the domains. You can create more domains. We will create one or two more domains to see this, these things, how it will look like. Now, if I come here, so, so you can see the domains like this. And you can see every domain is a child and top is the parent. For this, it's MSP. Because it's a so practical practice uh, part, a practical part there created it. But rest domains are in the top domain only. Okay, if I open this, let's see, there is a domain hierarchy also there. Let me go here and put. Domain, yes. Okay, there's nothing called domain hierarchy, no problem. Domain map, I guess, yes. Yeah, this one. So, top domain, under that I have these many domains. This one. So top domain has a default and these domains and MSP have a this one. This is what the domain map is there. This is what the next one is showing the domain hierarchy. Important point. See, in the domain separation, implementation is easy. Consulting is tough. Here you can go. Top and then child domains. There's a one domain called the global also introduced by service now. What is the global? The person who is living in the living room. He is the global domain. Because he can access anybody data. He know that who is coming, who is going, who is eating, who is sleeping, what is it is, what is doing now. That is a global data, global domain. So we never ever create any data in global domain. So processes goes here, but and process, sorry, processes goes here and the data goes in the respective domains. If by mistake, let's say Rajesh was visited his house and his mom gave him some snacks and good sweets, homemade sweets. Before he entered his room, he get a call. So he keep that sweet box in the living room. And he went in the room, he locked it and he was talking to his parents. Trevor was passing from that particular living room. He says, wow, it's a good, sweet, good smell, sweets. He opened the box and he ate it. After some time, we'll also come, he also ate it. After some time, the box was empty. Two hours, three hours, after two hours, three hours, Rajesh came back to pick up that. The sweets are over. 
Now whose mistake is it? It's Rajesh mistake because he put that data in the global domain and everybody is able to access it. And everybody use it. If he keep that boxes in his room, then nobody can access. This is what the data should be stay in the respective domains. And when I say data, I'm talking about the foundation data. Users, group, locations, everything should become in the specific domain only. And you can see here like this. Now, important here. It's a domain assignment. How we can assign the domain? The most common way to assign a value to sys domain field in order are company specific on the record, business value created, and domain for the user who creates the domain. Now let's come here. Let's let's do some practical part. Okay. Let me see. Create and view domain separated data. Don't worry, we're not going to do this much. Huh. Okay, let's go here and let's create a company now. Okay. Companies. Yes. Let's create a companies now. G phone fax showed them. it's a customer I said yes it's a customer okay and now click on the save now I'm doing the work from the service provider perspective I'm onboarding let's say I'm onboarding Rajesh okay first I'm creating the Rajesh account as a customer as a tenant in my system now I'll go and create a domain. Means I'm creating a room for Rajesh now. And click on the new. Rajesh company, Rajesh, I mean in the agreement it's mentioned Rajesh as a, this thing, what I can say. As, as a tenant, now I'm putting the room number in which room he's going to be stay. OK, so if I put everything in the global domain, everybody can access it. So what I'll do, I'll make a change here. I want to create a Rajesh in the top domain. Or let me say uh, domain is there. Yes, now it means it is the parent is top child is this so I can put LNG generally we put the same name of domain and company so that it is easy to identify but like say Tata is a big group so I'll create one company with the name Tata and I create separate domains for the Tata Tata groups Tata power Tata steel Tata electricity Tata communication all these things can be separate domains. It is MSP customer vendor. It doesn't matter here because it's just a filtration part. I say it's a customer. Parent, I can put top. Yes. Even though I'm still creating the top domain, but I would prefer to put the parent as a top. Click on the save. Rajesh account has been created and Rajesh room has been created. Now I need to be map that room. I'm not sure why I did not get edit button here. So what I will do, it says this domain contains which company. I always get confused here logically if I say. Let's say I'm creating a company called 
LNG, LNG. It's a customer, anything you can put, doesn't matter. And this company I'm creating in the domain called here. Top Tata, Tata Power. Top Tata, Tata Steel. And now I click on the submit. So my domain has been created. Under domain, I have a company now. Okay. Leave these two options for a time being because this is going to play a very vital role. Now, as a service provider, what I need to be do? Rajesh says to the landlord that over the weekends, my parent also come and stay with me for one day. Okay, so can you create their account as well? It means I'm talking about the user's account. So what I'll do, I'll go here and search for the user. And if you notice here, let me click on the new. Uh, let me add two fields here just to show that why and how it will look different now. Form layout. I will add call the field called the company because till the date we did not activate this plugin. So company was not mandatory. But now company become mandatory because it is a domain separated. If I did not put the company, this user account will be created in the default domain. And then it get a problem. OK, let it be load quickly and then I'll add this two or three fields just to show you some more detail about the same. And this link generally take time to be loaded. In the meantime, anybody has any question? So let's come here and discuss these two points. Now, what I want to be tell, I already done that part. Okay. Contains domain contained by Rajesh and Trevor take the room on a same day. After one week, they become a friends. And Rajesh told to Trevor, hey, you are my good friend now. You can come in my room at any point of time. You can see my data. In this case, I have to be give access to Trevor in the contained domain that I am containing you. It means you can see my data. I'm giving you the visibility to see my data. And I can click on the edit. This is the first level I'm saying. Come on. Is it open? Still opening, yeah, come on. Both links are running. That is the reason I, I pick up the domain separation always at the last. Because it could lot of time. It takes a lot of time. This activating plugin activated in that in the five or ten minutes only, but this data load form changes take a lot of time. Okay, now it's be there. Let me see for the company. <sighs> Oh, it's again stuck. This one. Company and let put. So that I can tell you, I can show that where it has been getting created now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Both are loading. Come on. Mm. 
Mm. If I if I cancel it, I need to be okay. It's open now. This one, domain, and domain. Let's move this all and copy. Bring it on the top. Now let's come here. Let's load in it. Let it be saved now. Okay. So now you see here that this company field become mandatory because it is a domain separate. Till yesterday it was not mandatory because we don't have this functionality, this act plugin activated. So let's say I'm creating a user called LNG LNG. And LNG. First name LL and then let's see. Company. Which company I'm creating it? I'm creating it for the company called LNG. This one, which is under the domain. If you see the domain, it is gone. Okay. Otherwise, there, there is one more field came automatically that is called the domain which tell you in which domain you're creating this user. So as of now, I'm creating in the top domain. Logically, I should create in the LNG domain. So now reload it. Because if I create in the top domain, this user can see anybody's data. But now this user can see only data belong to LNG. Again, company LNG. This one. See now you can see only one company is coming. Why? Because I have this domain, and in this domain I only have one company. And now I click on the save. Okay. And now let me give ITL role to this user. It's it's very interesting if you if you do this exercise as per this developer site, this one, you will know a lot of new things. Now come here. Now what I want to do, I want to impersonate this user LL and then let's say impersonate this one. Incidents at all. Okay. Why are you able to see everybody's data? In the see, it is only LNG domain. You don't have another domain. Set. Oh, it is a other domain set as well. Why? Let me check here. And impersonation. And let check this user now. User admin. I'm looking for one thing which says that which domain or which could, uh, sorry, which um, what I can say, not not domain. Some security group, I need to be add this user. So that he should not able to see anybody else data. As of now, there's no restrictions on this user, so he's able to see. So what happened now? When we impersonated this user, I was able to see everybody data. Right? 
logically it should not be the case if rajesh has access to the room he only should able to enter into the room and able to see all data not anyone else data either uh, this thing is missing let me see configurability list there is something called the domain access related list where we can give the access that which domain this user should able to see logically not sure what what's going wrong here because we created this user for this company and in the lng domain logically he should not able to see anybody else data okay or let's do one thing uh, let's cancel this and change the domain to the globally if i put everybody can see right okay let's say cisco okay now as a admin let me get a incident see as soon as change the cisco what happened now why he is not able to see acha maybe admin don't have access for the cisco domain let go in the top domain only then but i'm in the top domain only okay let's go there so now when you are creating your workflows your business rule your business logic you have to mention the domain as well specifically in the workflow so that your configuration can change here i'll go for the incident create new see not asking for the company as well let's say i'm creating this incident for the cisco okay let's say it's in cambrian caller don't say not i don't have any user no user in that one that is that is a problem because there is a lot of companies which is with there cisco ac what are that to me let me see okay this one i need tech let's say i put any caller here i need tech itl and save it's number 0098 okay now let me impersonate with the user called ll i am sure that he should not able to see this data and incident all and now if you search see you're not able to see this data why because you don't have access for this domain this is what now the question comes atul why the earlier incident was able to see because they were in the default domain there was no company mentioned in that incidents so everybody can see it simple rajesh put the sweet box in the living room everybody can see and everybody can eat now if this user want to see this data what have to be do let me end impersonation and go in this and put the top to me or which company you want to contains domain you what domain you want to be contain it you have to be do it let me go back here domain 
This is what we created, right? Where is LNG? This one. Under this contained domains, come here. Okay, one more thing. What happens sometimes that you are not able to see the different domains? Then cancel it, and there's an option called here toggle domain scope. It wider the range for us. OK, if under the top domain, you're not able to see other domains like we are not able to see. Now I click on the edit. I can see all the domains here. See. And now I will add this. And click on the save. It, it means any user which has been created under this domain should be able to see this data as well. Now let's try to impersonate again. This is what the basic fundamental of the domain separation. This is called the visibility. Incidents and all. See. Now I'm going to see 98. Why? Because this particular user has a visibility of the INE tech domain as well. This is what the visibility says, but vice versa is not possible as of now. Vice versa is not possible because the contained by is empty. Contains domain is fine, but contained by is empty. I can see the data. Rajesh allowed Trevor to come into his room, but Trevor did not allow to come in his room. Trevor said, no, sorry, boss. I don't want anybody to come in my room. This is what this exercise has done here. OK. Question guys here. User separated data. So like this, they are be saying that how the data has been separated. Configure form layout and you have to be add all these company and all the things you've done already. Business logic separations. So now when you create the workflows, you make sure that workflow should be in the correct domain. All workflow should be created in the top domain. And put the filter condition for the company. This is important here. So you can say business and all the things will be there. Let me come here. Yes, Trevor, Pooja and Namrata, any doubt, any question? All good, Trevor. All good, Rajesh. Sorry, number and Pooja. Yes, Atul. Good. I strongly recommend, please, if you want to take a little deep in this topic, please do this practice today itself. At least read these articles, read this document. It's a very well written, very beautifully articulated, and with the examples it has been given. And now in the instance, we already have this plugin, so you can do the things very easily. No need to be wait or no need to be take a new instance and activate these plugins. OK, so if no other question, let me. Close the recording and we'll take a quick attendance now. <laughs>